Moving on, the Clemson Tigers capped their first undefeated season since 1981 when they took down the Alabama Crimson Tide in last year's national championship game. This year, they're going for another unbeaten season as they took look to take uh, down the top-ranked LSU Tigers. The LSU Tigers are going after only their fourth national title in school history, and already they're favored to win. And that's thanks to their Heisman Trophy winner quarterback, Joe Burrow, who has thrown 55 touchdowns this season. He's special. Uh, he really is. I mean, it's just kind of, as I said, just as a coach, makes you sick watching the tape because uh, he just just rarely ever makes a mistake. He's always a step ahead. He knows exactly where to go with the ball. Those guys that won 29 games straight, um, they're doing a lot of great things at Clemson. They're doing a great, great job of attracting great recruits and developing them. A lot of similarities. So no Alabama team this year, but we got the SEC uh, representation there with LSU and, of course, Clemson's back in this. So where do you think this game's going to go? Uh, Arky, you go first. I think sometimes in college football we get this team of destiny. And as good as Clemson is, and they are a legit national championship contender, they've done it before, and they're probably going to do it again, LSU has that feel that this offense with this quarterback, this amalgamation of events, this is LSU's year. And they're a five-and-a-half point favorite going into the national championship game, and I think that's for good reason. That offense is super explosive. That quarterback is the Heisman Trophy winner for a reason, and that team is going to be bringing home the trophy, the, uh, the bronzed uh, lipstick trophy for the <laughs> national championship. <laughs> I love that. Mel, uh, what do you think about this? Arky, I can actually agree with you on that when it comes to being a team of destiny. You can even consider Coach O as a coach of destiny because this was his dream job and all he ever wanted to do was win a championship at LSU. Now, I'll tell you this. Clemson will give them a great game. I mean, Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne, they are two of the most dynamic offensive players you will see. Not named Joe Burrow and Clyde Edwards-Alaire. However, I have a feeling that if LSU jumps out to like a 14-0, 21 one nothing lead they'll be able to close the deal unlike Ohio State did in the last bowl game against Clemson of course we know that Dabo Sweeney the Alabama guy who's now coaching Clemson will be able to get his guys pumped up for this game but I just think that LSU has a whole lot of firepower and then Arky you know when they got a guy who <laughs> sounds like this he can lead a team to a championship can he oh coach I want to get himself down the bar you get him a national championship he perfects that situation is he here right now? I feel like Coach O's sitting with me right now. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Like I've mentioned this already, and I, I think I told you this earlier, Arky, but I think just the storyline with Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers, Coach O being a native of the area, I think that's just the best storyline. And I, I would love to see them kind of pull this off because, like I said before, too, Clemson's been here before. They've been there. They've done it. I'd like to see a new winner this year, and I think LSU is totally capable of doing that. So. And you know what I like, Kayla, about this situation is that it, he's had his issues at Ole Miss, at, at USC, and at Tennessee. He's had this it, – it seems like there's this, this time mm -hmm. that this one perfect gumbo pot can be made, and it's <laughs> going to work at LSU. Coach O is going to win that national championship, and it has to happen tomorrow night. And that was the best analogy I think I could have ever come up with. So thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, the national title game, though, will be kicking off tomorrow night in New Orleans. That game will be at 7 p.m. And we'll have highlights coming up later this week.